Hello, my name is Leif Ove Ansnes. I'm a pianist from Norway, and I've brought to you today some music by Norway's most famous composer, Edvard Grieg. And I started with playing a very late piece by Grieg. This is uh, based on a folk song from the mountains, and it's a very impressionistic piece. And now I will play three pieces that are written in a much earlier age, but it's also connected to folk music. The first one is called the Humoresque, and you can hear very well the, the dancing movements. Um, and then two pieces from the so-called lyric pieces. He wrote 66 lyric pieces his whole life, and these are from a very early period. The first one is called Norwegian. It's a very patriotic uh, dance. And the last one is again a folk song, but this, this folk song is a little more a combination of dance and folk song. It has more movement inside. <laughs>
この509スタジオ NHK で一番の音楽スタジオでノルウェーからのピアニストアンスネスさんによるグリーグの演奏を今聴かせていただいているところですもう史上たっぷりの大変素敵な演奏でございますが少しお話もここで伺ってみようと思いますミスターアンスネスナイスティスユーハローこんにちはこんにちはどうぞお座りください<笑>、えー、今グリーグの演奏を聴かせていただきましたあのアンスネスさんにとってのグリーグの印象というと I feel very close to him and I don't know how much of that is because I'm Norwegian and it's part of my national heritage but,、uh, or whether it's something more personal. I, I think it's something more personal that I feel his music really speaks very directly to my heart and that I think a lot of people feel that. He has the same、uh, quality like a Schubert or a Chopin, you know. He is very much telling stories when, he,、uh, when he's writing the music. You feel that it's about something. And also, he was、um, very good in writing short pieces. You know, in a very short time, he can say something important. And of course, that's like,、uh, like he,、uh, a great poet can say something in a, in, a, in, a, in a poem with just a very few lines. And that's a great quality. And he, of course, very much also admired. Some of the sh-、um, German romantics like Schumann, who loved poetry and always thought of music as poetry.、Um, so, this was his role model in a way. In the ballad, I was able to say that the ballad is a very personal piece of Greek. Yes, this is a very personal piece of Greek.、Um, and I've never understood why this hasn't become more famous than, than it is.、Um, Because it is so beautiful and so strong in music. It was written in a very difficult time in his life.、Um, both his parents died just six, six weeks apart right before this. He was around、uh, 40 years old.、Um, and he had also, they had lost a child, him and his wife, a few years before this. Who died when, when she was one year old. So there were many, many things that were、uh, adding to a kind of midlife crisis in his life.、Um, he also found it, found it very difficult to, to write music in this time. And one can hear it in this very melancholy feeling. For example, there is some almost funeral like music that you can hear from the death of, of the parents.、Mm. Session, you know, walking with a coffin.、Yeah. It's very, very strong music of, of death.、Yes. Um, and the ballad is a special piece in that he, he chooses one theme, a very melancholy, beautiful theme,、um, and makes, I think, 14 variations on this piece. But the theme begins the piece and it ends the piece. And it, so there is no resolution, there is no triumph. There is big climaxes and anger and all kinds of things, but it's not,、um, one doesn't feel that there is a solution inside it. There's a lot of inner conflict.、Um, and, and then, as often, he uses Norwegian folk music in some of the variations. Well, for example. <laughs> Typical dance. Yeah, you have the. And or a. You can almost see them dancing in a, in a circle.、Right? Mm. I think it's, it's,、um, it was for me a combination of、um, the sheer technical difficulty of it, you know, because it's, it has some very, very awkward piano writing, very,、uh, very difficult to do. And I had to solve those problems and I had to think how to solve those problems. And also, it's a heavy, it's a very emotional inner conflict kind of piece that you maybe have to be a little more grown up to be able to experience these kind of mo- emotions. And I didn't feel ready for that, you know, 10 years ago. Now maybe I'm ready. I hope so. So, let's play it. Let's play it. Let's play it. Grieg Sakkyuk, Norway, the Senlis Nyor, Henso Kyuk Keshiki, the Ballad. 演奏はアンスネスさんです。